Hi there. It's really dark in here. I'm not going to unblock the windows because I want to stay warm. If I pulled these up though, it would get bright in here, so... I could do it today because it's 60 some degrees, but I don't want to freeze and I'm afraid I won't get it sealed back at, like it was before. Got my coffee here. This morning was my first morning back to work. I was up at 5. I've been getting up early every morning since I got here. Back in Illinois I was getting up about before 8, which I've always been a morning person. But I've been getting up really early, like 5 o'clock in the morning. It's just different when you're basically sleeping outside. It's a pretty holy and special thing when, when the sun comes up every morning. It's something that I look forward to every single morning. My first day back to work went awesome. I was organizing receipts and car titles and nuts, bolts, all kinds of things. You know, that'll be weeks worth of work just getting the paper stuff organized and then there'll be all sorts of other stuff I move on to next. I'll take a better video of the scrapyard and stuff in the future. Today I did take just a really quick video of the front of the shop. It's massive. I mean, it goes way, way back. There's a huge, massive, massive antique fire truck back there. I've never seen anything like it in my life. It has a sleeping, like a semi, it has a sleeping area in it. I don't know if it's from the 50s or 60s or what, but it's, it's really neat. Thought I did take a little video. I'll probably add that into this one. Right now I'm going to work part time unless I choose to work more. And of course when it gets warmer I'll work longer if I choose. My boss said it's whatever I choose to do so I really want to put more time into my videos and I don't know, just keep growing it slowly, but the main thing is I have obligations to take care of, so I need to save my money up, and I don't know, in my video yesterday, I said I was going to buy my son's minivan, now I'm on the fence about it. Sometimes you'll think I'm wishy-washy, that's fine, I don't care, because a lot of times in my videos, I say something I'm just thinking about, but it's not solid. Maybe I shouldn't do that, but that's what we all do anyways, most of us, so I think out loud. But maybe I won't get the minivan after all because I talked to my boss last night and I'm just going to concentrate on this because it's small enough. It's really, it's just small enough that if I want to drive down to see my sons, you know, 40 minutes away, I can just secure all my decorations and get down there. Sure, it's going to use more gas, but it's only 40 miles away, so it's not that big of a deal. And if I ever do take my camper van out of state it'll either be for like say a YouTube meetup or I don't need to leave the state for any reason I don't want to shake my vintage camper around until I get everything fixed up I don't want to mess with it I don't know I prayed about it I asked the Lord if it's if it's a dream that he would bless because I want to I want to make this the coolest vintage camper ever always love vintage things and I've just been imagining myself getting up there and resealing everything eventually painting it to look really vintage and just oh man there's all sorts of stuff I can do and since it's small and it's just me working on it I can I don't know I, I created some sort of a sunroof in my mind whether or not it would leak God knows but I think it's time to put my creativity to work. If I fail, who cares? It's not like I can't rip something out if I don't put too much effort into it. But the air conditioner is definitely coming off. I went off there. I want to replace the inside roof panels. I already leak tested it. 
like I said in my earliest videos, it leaked like not even half an inch. I mean, it was basically nothing after three days of rain, solid rain. So I'm not the least bit concerned with a leak. And I, when I got this, I thought it looked like an old leak. And it is. But I want to get it, com the roof completely rubberized. Ah, it's just exciting. It's not any different than anybody else's plans and goals and dreams that they have for their home because this is my home. So it's exciting. It gives me something to look forward to and something to work on and dream about. It's great. Love it. Got some good Bible reading in last night. I prayed the Lord would direct me where to read and I ended up opening my Bible directly at the Old Testament. So, I mean, my Bible, my Bible my mother gave me 10 years in 2007, which I didn't touch the Bible. I opened up, when she gave it to me in 2007, I read, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and I was like, this is boring. I just read the first verse, you know, of the, of the first chapter, and I just never read it again until 2009 when my time to be called forward to meet our king came and then of course I couldn't I've never been able to get out of the Bible it's been 10 years I haven't touched another book since because there's that's my first love the Word of God is my first love so but I'm mostly in Old Testament I'm, I'm I love the Old Testament and it has been years since I've read the New Testament and I though it's written on my heart I don't pour over the old the New Testament the way that I do the Old Testament so I'm excited and ready as some good reading that I got last night I've got some good prayers in for some of you guys that run my heart some of you people that watch my videos Got some good prayers in for my family. Feeling good, feeling hopeful. Work was good today. I'm going to Moberly tonight. My boss has to drop off a starter and I've got to run by the dollar store and grab some tax because my stuff keeps falling down and I'm ready to get this looking cute in here. So, I gotta get some tax and a few other things. Just wanted to do my daily hello. Hope you're doing awesome. Uh, yeah, we're supposed to get some snow in a couple days. I'm freaking out. I can't wait. Last year was my first winter in Missouri, and I got snow in October. Today my boss told me, oh man, we don't get any snow here in Missouri, hardly at all. I said, uh, well I'm here now, so that's going to change, because I've got to have at least one blizzard a year. And he's saying the worst snow they get is six, six, six inches or so, no way, I want 18 inches of snow. I want 20 below. I want my winter. Uh, last time I uploaded my video, well, yesterday, it took about an hour, and it was, I compressed it down to about 122 megabytes, so this one, we'll see how long this one takes to upload. I'm not sure what time it is right now, I think it's closer to 3. I got off work at noon, and I was just exhausted that... It warmed up today, but it was freaking cold in the shop, and I've got my boots. Um, I'm going to get wool socks. I've got my boots that I wear. I've been wearing since September every day. I'm obsessed with them. Got it for five bucks at a yard sale. But my freaking toes are freezing, and my hands are freezing. So at the dollar store, I'm going to get some, some of those tight little hand gloves, and I'm going to cut the fingers out of them so I can do my paperwork and stuff. 
I'm thinking about checking thrift stores and stuff. I'm going to get some long johns because, or maybe some farmalls. I need some, I need some coveralls, just the suspender kind. I don't want the big bulky kind. I want just want the suspender kind. Because I'm going to be working all winter, so I want to stay warm. He's got a massive shop eater, but I just want to stay warm. Next week, I'm going to get my heater from Menards. We're going to check Menards, and, and uh, they have a Harbor Freight up there. I've never been to one. I've heard some people on YouTube talk about Harbor Freight. I'm just going to go for the heater that I want. So I can stay nice and warm in here. I'm getting one that, hopefully one that I can see the flame. So it'll be like a, you know, it'll be like a fireplace. That's what I need, really. To stay cozy this winter. Looking forward to the new year. I've heard a lot of people say this was the worst year of their life, or... I completely understand that. Because of everything, but there's no way that COVID has made me have a bad year. It's been, it's been a year, that's for sure. It's been the fullest year of my life. But I'm ready for the new year. Definitely ready. It's going to be here before we know it. Four people in my family have got COVID so far. And it wasn't anything more than a pretty bad cold. I know it affects everyone differently, that's for sure. Some people lost seven family members from it. But that's just, you know, that's one of those exceptions to the rule thing that I was talking about the other day. It's not common. I hope whoever saw my PayPal crap up on my, underneath my last video doesn't think I'm going to be some sort of an e-beggar, but the other day there's this beautiful, precious, wonderful, amazing channel, which I am definitely putting in my description, except because I keep just forgetting it. Her name is Jerry Landers of Hopalong Hollow. I'm telling you, she creates the most magical don't like that word but the most wonderful little creatures like rabbits just all sorts of foxes she creates them and she has a beautiful unique style but she has she gets a crap load of views and she has a lot of subscribers but she I was reading her comments the other day and somebody said thank you so much for your Christmas special and without any ads and then she commented back I so try to stay away from the ads and I couldn't stop thinking about it. Oh, she said her, she said my son keeps trying to make me get the ads, but I refuse. She's an older lady, but I was, I was just, I was so hurt by that. I was like, why don't you go ahead and do that and then give your son the money? Or, and I thought, no, she has some sort of inner integrity. She's probably well off, you know, has everything she needs. She's not being greedy in life or anything else. And I can take my logic and everything and, and say what I want and say, well, you can take that money and give it away or you can take that money and do something great with it. But for whatever reasons, she's choosing not to monetize her videos. And I think it's rare and I think it's, I don't know, for a moment I was like, wouldn't it be nice if my channel could get big and I would not monetize my channel. But I've wanted to monetize my channel all along because my disability, I don't like to go, I don't like to leave my home. So... Where I work, it's at a massive machine shop, and I don't have to see anybody other than, you know, farmers and stuff like that, and I can perfectly well handle that because I just say hello, walk by someone, and keep doing my work. I can go to any other area I want and work and not have to talk to people. But that's not common for a woman to work in a place like that, you know, unless you're a secretary or something, which I'll partly be, but... Not your typical setup. 
He's got a lot of stuff, I'll tell you that. I've been talking for a while. Talking my head off. Doing good. Enjoying my camper. Taking things slow. Winter is my favorite time of year. Alright, I'll let you go. I... I'm gonna switch this coffee cup that I've talked about quite a few times. Has to be retired. It has to be retired before it completely breaks or it's gonna break my heart. And when Ross was in Illinois with me, gave me a set of... I've got one more of these and then I have a coffee, French coffee press. And I know my fingernail polish is terrible. I don't care, really. I'm living in living in a different way now. But he gave me these, so I am going to use this because I can't stand coffee cups. I hate and cannot enjoy my coffee cups out of coffee mugs that have really th uh, thick right here. I like it to be really thin because it just it tastes better. So this is really thin. I mean it's it's the same as this one. So I'm gonna start using this cool little thing. Thanks to Ross. Give me this cool cool little set there. It's a neat name brand too. I don't know what that little guy is. He's pretty cool. All right, enough, enough talk. I gotta go. Thought I lost my mink tail today. It devastated me in the shop because I knew I wouldn't find it. And it was stuck on my freaking neck up top. I had four of these. I accidentally washed one. Devastated me, tore to pieces. Gave one to my Aunt Sharon. And then got this one and I've got one more hanging up over there. All right, ah, talked, talked, and talked, and talked. Hope I didn't irritate you. Gotta go. God bless you. Ah, see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Wishes you happy holidays during this season of good cheer. Janice, Teresa Allen, and Sharon Hickey hope that all who can hear us be enriched by knowing better the greatest story ever told. May this Christmas bring a joy that will live in your heart now and always. The staff of KSEO would like to take this time to thank all of our clients, friends, and loyal listeners for their continued support. From our family to yours, happy holidays, and may all of your dreams come true in the new year and all of the years to come. Christmas trees, Christmas cards, shopping, cooking, and traveling. Get seen being overwhelmed during the holidays. Remember, the spirit of Christmas can always be found in quiet moments of peaceful reflection. Precision Eye Care of Mexico and Miami wishes you many such moments of joy and peace this holiday season. wants to remind you this Christmas season the reason to celebrate is the birth of Jesus. So while you enjoy the company of loved ones, also remember the reason for the season. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Janet's Dance Studio. Listen and enjoy the music of the Christmas.